Hello everybody, my name is Christian and today we're going to be doing a review on the app Tweetbot for Mac. Alright, so as you can see on my screen, we've got Tweetbot and the original Twitter app for Mac. Um, Tweetbot is a really good um, Twitter client for Mac. A little bit too expensive, but still really good. Right, so I'm going to go all over all of the differences between Tweetbot and Twitter. Here on top, as you can see, are the two icons of the two clients. Uh, right here is the original Twitter, and uh, it will show if you've got tweets or anything. And this is my both of my accounts and new tweet as well. And then um, here's the tweet bot. Um, if there's mention or anything, it will go blue. And here's the new tweet button. First off. Um, as you can see from uh, this tweet here, we've got them both on the, on the both kinds. Um, this guy tweeted a picture, and on Tweetbot you can see the picture in, a, in like a thumbnail. You can see the thumbnail of a picture. While on this one you can't see it. So if you click this, you can see the picture in, in uh, you know, uh, in the whole picture. And the same here. No, it's a little bit bigger on the uh, on the normal Twitter, but you know you can make it bigger anytime you want to. Another feature, as you can see, all these tabs here on Tweetbot are so much more than the tabs on um, the official Twitter app. Um, that's because uh, it's just much easier. Um, it's that way. It's much easier to get to different things like favorites. For example, here are all my favorites. Well, on this, you have to go here and then favorites. On the official Twitter app, for adding second accounts, you must go here to accounts and then press the plus button, type your username and password, and then add account. While on the Tweetbot, you must just um, you must press preferences, account, and add it here. But to change accounts, um, you must on the official Twitter app, you must press the different icons. While on this one, you can just press here and choose the other account you've got. If we go over a tweet like this one, for example, if you press right click, we've got reply, favorite, retweet, quote, quote tweet, user details, direct message, um, delete tweet, which we can't because it's not our tweet, block this guy, copy tweet, copy link to tweet, view on Twitter, Twitch, which is the link he um, tweeted, and that's the Twitter that he's tweeting from. Well, on this one, if we press right click, we've got read later, so that adds it to a list. Um, we've got a copy link to, to tweet. Copy tweet. Uh, you can email tweet, I guess, but I don't know why is that not available. View details, view conversation. All right, this is a really important one. View conversation. So let's say, right, right here, this guy, Face Milage. He was speaking to Faze A. Jim. I want to see the whole conversation. And instead of going down and searching what Faze A. Jim said, like right here, Instead of doing that, I can press right click, view conversation. And then it's going to load the whole conversation. So he said 99k, add a boy, serpomage, masters the gym. Overall, if you guys would like to have a more advanced Twitter app, definitely go for uh, Tweetbot. Uh, as you can see from the Mac App Store, it's 17.99 euros. Uh, I'm not sure how much that is in dollars and pounds, but you can. Um, Google a convert converter or whatever, but this is a much more advanced Twitter app, and I would suggest it to everyone that tweets a lot and uses Twitter a lot. It's such a big upgrade from the original Twitter app, and uh, it's definitely worth buying it. So, in my opinion, the internet race of Tweetbot is much more advanced, but nicer, and um, it's much more easier to navigate through the different tabs and settings. So thank you for watching this video guys, if you enjoyed it make sure you hit that like button down below, subscribe for more tech videos like this, and I'll see you in the next video.